until then we are going to be hitting there until she address us until we are not going to stop talking we will from time to time remember her and talk about her okay so please if you want to attack it's okay but keep it within the video so that i know how to respond to you all right so with that being said welcome back again and thank you for joining me but if you are new here hi welcome my name is lillian and in this video i'm just going to take us back to the beginning of mercy's life since we got to know her since she became popular in nollywood and became the girl that every girl want to be she became that person that everybody want to rock on with let's go back a little bit to her claim in her very first interview or few first interviews she granted back in the past where she said she was extremely poor that she struggled a lot and that she dropped out of school and that she moved around nigeria with her father who at that time was a navy officer according to one of the interviews she granted in that interview she told citizen city people magazine that she used to go to the campus to wash clothes for other girls she used to go to the campus to clean their houses their rooms she that she and her brother does all sort of minor jobs to help support themselves and they were so poor according to her but wait to have you have we uh, you know you know we nigerians we love that story we love the story of grass to grace we love it when you come from nothing to a lot you inspire everybody maybe you are saying the truth or you are lying and that is why this big brother nanja housemates comes with that if you want to win you have to have a story of grass so that we can take you to grace it's in nigeria when it comes to people voting you they want you to go powerful we believe you have suffered a lot it's time to enjoy it is our way of life we should start to hold them accountable for these things they are saying okay not by going to hold their hand or being disrespectful with their names or their images but what i'm saying is that mercy said she suffered a lot wait a minute oh. as a nigerian navy personnel you know there are a lot of dividends that you are benefiting from which includes health insurance for your family your immediate family free schools or as good as free schools for your immediate family you see as bad as the nigerian government might look there are a lot of parasitas that are well structured and you see, Navy is one of them. Nigerian Navy is very well structured. And that is why you see that a lot of people would do anything to have their families join the Navy. It kind of elevates the family from extreme struggle to at least not so bad. But wait, oh, if your mama and papa, your biological mama and papa, your biological mama and papa, your father is a naval officer who earns salary every month no matter how we think it's small and your mother is a petty trader we they allow you go out to hawk bread food hawk and clean people apartments i mean we they allow you go to drop out of school because as a civil servant in nigeria you are entitled to there you see these nigerian banks they will give you loan with your id cards you can assess loan sometime interest free loan or just a few percentage is what they take as interest i'm saying this out of experience a lot of people that i know that works for the nigerian government are eligible for loan with any of the nigerian banks all the bank requires of you in case you do not know this before you can know it now all that the bank requires of you is just your id card i mean your salary account because with your salary account whenever the government pays you the bank will deduct their money from your salary and they do this for some they spread it for a period of six months some they spread it for a period of one year depending on how much you applied for depending on how much was given to you as a loan so i don't think um a family like that I don't think anyone will just sit down and say, okay, uh, you are my child, you can drop out of school because, I mean, 
it could be that Messi is truly not um, their biological child, which is going to be hard for all of us to believe because it's been a while and none of us were there. So I am thinking, I don't think she's this people's uh, biological child. I know you're going to tell me she will sue me. I think her parents were never her biological parents. Because I don't see how... I come from a village and there's this... Um, there used to be this man in my place that is that used to be a naval officer. He's, he has passed on now. His children were considered to be privileged among all of us in that place. We see them as, wow, people that have it all. Yeah, because um, they live in Calabar and they were always looking better than us, the children of farmers. I mean, their mother and father were living together. See, let us tell, tell ourselves the truth. Maybe there's more to mercy that we don't really know, but we think we know because we love her and couple with the fact that she has a grass to grace story and we are all blind by that we don't see the leakages in the story the Cameroonian woman may be saying the truth in as much as me I don't really get a grip that her story is not gripping me like grip me to say wow but at the same time I feel like it can be possible because it's too much if it's only one person that calls you now the younger our alleged younger sister is coming out to cry hey reunite with us we don't want anything from you of course everybody will say they don't want anything from you even if mercy was poor the mother will still go to her and want to reunite if he finds if she finds her all right you and i will not know because the person is not a celebrity so let us um take a moment from accusing this woman of abandonment and all that because her story is out there i've talked about it in my last video where i talked about mercy the cameroonian woman we shouldn't all watch her suffer this emotional pain until she dies then later we'll be like oh we wish then we get to hear that oh she is so oh. and then we feel like oh yeah we didn't know so please beg mercy johnson to please grant that woman a dna test there's nothing there the woman said she gave birth to mercy in benway state at a hospital in benway state see there are a lot of in as much as we don't know there are a lot of foreigners living in nigeria I personally know a Ghanaian family that have lived in my hometown for since the past 50 years. The man is from the Ashanti region, moved to Ogoja, got married to an Ogoja woman, half kids, died and was buried there. Though he used to come home with his family and go back, but he never lived in Ghana since then. He was always living in Nigeria till he dies. If they don't tell you he's not from there, you wouldn't know. So we have a lot of people like that. This Cameroonian woman said she and her husband were living in Nigeria. So there's a lot of truth in this story. At the same time, even though it's not gripping some of us like grip us, we still have to beg mercy to come for a DNA test. If your father is a naval officer and your mother is a petty trader, you are considered privileged in a country like Nigeria. Yes, because almost every other person around you have nothing they are not their parents are none of these things they are just surviving they are surviving so you who have that shouldn't have i mean you should take a look at it like oh wow but true my parents were this but i was hawking could it be that they didn't want to invest so much on me because i'm not their biological child yeah, of course, at that time, they may not have believed in her because there may not have been any sign that she's going to be great today. So they may not want to invest a lot on a child that is not biologically theirs, especially when, you know, it involves your mother and father not being any of your blood relatives, like they know for sure that you're not biologically theirs. So they can be a bit sceptical, they can be a bit reluctant, economical with their resources because they don't know what the future holds for this adopted child. You see, so even yourself, dear Mercy, if nobody have told you, please tell yourself, Take a minute. Tell your husband to please give you a day. 
go elsewhere and stay the whole day and ask questions. Refresh on your past. How was it for you when you are fighting with the siblings, your siblings in the house? How was it? Alleged mother that we all think we know. How was she behaving? Was she taking side with you or the other? And why did your dad choose you to move around Nigeria with while other kids, he has other kids? I don't understand. So, sis, uh, looking like someone alone is not enough for us to just believe. But what we are saying is do this for yourself. Do this for your image. Do this so that we, netizens, will stop talking about it, okay? But if you don't, sis, we will be here. And at the same time, I want to use this opportunity and appeal to Honorable Okoje to please... Don't do this. Maybe there's something you know that your wife does not know. Or maybe both of you are not aware of the truth. Find out the truth for her. If you don't want her broken, all you need to do is stylishly get testament for the DNA done on her behalf. So that you can settle this, you know, and dismiss the woman to go or reconnect them. It is not fair that you know something and then you just or you don't know something but the accusation the allegations are strong but you don't want to act because you feel like the person is lying what if at the end of the day is true even though you have felt like the woman abandoned your wife when she needed her the most what about now that the abandonment didn't kill you the abandonment turned out to become the biggest blessing in your life like it turned out to be the reason you worked extremely hard to break through in the movie industry and become the most sought after Nollywood actress, um, the most influential brand influencer, brand ambassador, the biggest name in the entertainment industry in a country like Nigeria. Don't you think if her mom didn't abandon her, I don't think she would have been here because sometimes people don't really push harder because they have an alternative sometimes people don't push hard simply because they have an alternative and that is why if you study properly back in the days you see that the actresses with no certificates were the one doing better in the movie industry than those with certificates the logic is very simple because they feel like i beg if this one will work out for me i go go pursue my I'll carry my certificate and go look for a job. Why the one with no certificate, like, I have to hold on to this because this is all I have got to set myself free. This is, this is all I have to hold on to until I am free. The same thing with majority of women with no help. You know, when you don't have a husband, it motivates you to work hard, harder. I see some married women will be like, eh, me or personally, married women will tell me, Lily, you're on better. Lily, this, they forgot that. Sometimes I'm trying my best, putting in work, pushing hard, and being strong because I have no choice. I'm doing that because I don't have a choice. If I don't push hard to get it done, nobody going to do it for me. So you can easily say, I beg, I'm tired of filming this YouTube video. Let me relax, Jerry. After all, YouTube is not all I do for a living. I have other things my husband will bring. Yeah, you see? So if Mercy parents were in her life, maybe she wouldn't have break, broken through to become what she is today. It's not like if she has accepted to do the DNA test and then it comes positive, she's going to go to Cameroon. No, nobody can take away the fame from you. So I'm looking at that aspect and I feel like the, Cameroon, the Cameroonian woman may be right. I will continue to say that until she addresses it. She will not sue me. Mercy, don't sue me. If you sue me, I don't have money to get a lawyer. Okay? So instead of suing me, just do the DNA test. Okay? So instead of suing people, just do a DNA test with that woman. Uh, when you finish doing the DNA test, DNA test with the woman. If we continue to talk about you, then you can sue us. Until then, we are going to be on your case. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye.